Good morning and welcome to the children of God. You are welcome. It is a blessed Thursday. God has pleased, he has uh, given us authority to see this day again. He has given us a blessing and it is a great grace, the biggest grace, a great grace to see these days. As this day as most of the people are hospitalized, others are sick. But here we are, we are alive. We are not complaining. So the little complaint that we have, God is still saying something. He will perfect it when his time is right. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We adore you. We welcome you, Spirit of the living God. You are still God. You are Abba Father. Descend, Spirit of my Father, as we connect this meeting with the heavenly throne. Whatever we do here, Lord Jesus, heaven knows. Therefore, your power, your glory, and anointing is in us. Connect with us, Holy Spirit. You are deliverance hand upon us. You are finger upon us to finish the work that you said I have to do. Thank you, Jesus, for protecting our families, our children. We are alive. Father, we are still breathing. Continue to touch us and block Uproot, expose every darkness that is following us, that is not of God, ungodly spirit. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost descend and search and destroy it. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and grace. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Abba Father. Children of God, I said, thank you. May today be blessed. You will be blessed going in. When you come out, you will be blessed whatever you touch. You will be blessed. Father God will speak through your heart whenever you meditate and call his name when you have troubles because he's still God. He still loves you. He never changed. He's still the same yesterday, today, and forever. May you be blessed while you're hearing the word of God, while we share up a word. It's all about Jesus. We are busy doing what God says. It's all about him. Nothing that uh, uh, come uh, unite me and you together and uh, we are coming as one. It's because of all, it's about Jesus. It's all about him. So we thank you, Jesus, for letting us know that you are God and for letting us trust that you are still God. Therefore, come and take control of the spirit. Children of God, I still love you with the love of love, more love. And I'll never stop loving you because you are my people, because I pray for you, because even if God will take time to answer because he doesn't answer immediately, but I know that when God is for you, who can be against you? And you shall conquer, you shall win this battle, you shall win, and you are not the tail, you are always the head in Jesus' mighty name. I love you. I love you. I can't wait for that day when we'll start to zoom. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so that I can see your faces. Oh, the faces of people that love me. Oh, God will make a way. The views I can see are going up and up. So we'll get there. We'll get there. God knows. Thank you and again for viewing. Thank you. Should of God, as you know, that I'll ask always, Father God, as my norm, to pray and ask him to communicate with me, to show me a word that I must share with you. And then the word came as a book of uh, Mark 14. Mark 14, we can read the children of God and say, ah, it's just a, 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 a day of the Last Supper, a day... Where Jesus prayed, hey, get the money. Hey. No, we cannot take it just like that. It has a, a wisdom. It has a wisdom on it. We have to learn something. So, when I was given to it, I said, Oh, Father God wants me to teach. And uh, it was, He was speaking with me like heavily. Read them, teach them, talk to them teach them about the book of Mark 14. Mark 14 is all about the death of Jesus. 
it's all about the death of Jesus from the last supper when he prepared them like the 12 that you'll find a man with a, a, and they talk to him I'll be using his house it's where he spent that last hours with them where he was telling them that one of you will betray me and he was talking about Judas Iscariot and starting from there when he says one of you will betray me it's like when we read the word that's why I like to pray because always in that way children of God he's trying there's something there's something in every word of God there's something it's not just that just like a normal verse that's why senior prophet Jesus used to say that you don't read a Bible as if you are reading a novel because you cannot be hush 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 on it repeatedly and um, slowly and attentively because the minute you read there is then that your eyes start to open because honestly children of God I didn't take it I was like you I, didn't, I, I took it like it. there it's just uh, to tell us that how God was crucified in this book. But when I go into it and read, and then Holy Spirit started to speak with me. It's then that I can say, oh my God, my Jesus, my God and Savior. You are speaking like this. Hmm? Last Supper, breaking of the bread, drinking of the blood, gets a man hmm? arrested. Hmm? Then before the Sanhedrin, Sanhedrin, yeah, Sanhedrin. Huh? Peter disowned Jesus. Huh? Jesus before Pilate is 15. But 14 is it. You know the first, and I'm, I want to ask you, children of God, read it slowly. Pray before you read it, and read it slowly, you'll see what. You will learn a lot. You'll see how God will speak with you. He will repeat it and slowly you will learn something. I even given a topic there. The message as a topic of what we are talking about today. How not to answer during persecution. It's what he gave me. The wisdom. We thank him. I didn't know. I just read and said, no, when it's like this, what is this? And then he'll talk in the heart because I was reading it, reading it. And uh, when I ask in the morning, when I, I did a morning prayer and be told what to read, I was asking myself, Father, Father, I want to remind us that he died for us. But no, children of God, can you read it slowly? Please. It goes up to verse 72. Uh, uh, verse 14. Read it slowly. Slowly, don't get even you read it today, next week, and, and you continue, you mark where you stop and continue to read slowly so that you can understand it. Jesus Christ, children of God, our Father, is still saying something. He always speak and he's still saying something. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning. It's not you learning only. I'm also learning children of God. I said the topic was how to how to yes, 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 yes. Okay, children of God, thank you, Holy Spirit, for your wisdom. Thank you. Okay, the book. And the last supper, the last supper, when he break the bread, he knew that he would die because of someone, someone who sold him. But he never mentioned a name. There's a lesson there. He was arrested. He prayed after. Last Supper, it's where Jesus even told Peter that he will uh, 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 deny him, the denial of Peter will deny, deny him. Mm. Then 
we go to Gethsemane. Our topic here, our lesson, it's when he break the bread. Why did he, not when exactly when he break the bread? When he was eating the with the waist, eating this, uh, drinking and taking the body on the last supper, and again on the uh, Gethsemane. I'll tell you now, children of God, the Gethsemane where he was praying nonstop. It was said that he prayed until when he cried, the tears were like blood. Asking God, his father, to remove the cup. That is Gethsemane. There's a lesson there. And then he was arrested. Jesus before St. Andrew. After St. Andrew, there's a lesson there. So verse, verse 14, all in it. It's about the Last Supper, the arrest of Jesus Christ before uh, disowning, Peter disowning him, the Gethsemane, and all this. But in every verse, in verse 14, there's a, a teaching there that Jesus is trying to teach us about. When on the Last Supper, he's teaching us about humility and <laughs> the uniqueness of Jesus Christ that he wants us to be. No rage, no noise, the things that the Holy Spirit doesn't want. He was trying to teach us. Okay, let's look at it this man. You know that one of the people that you are praying with he has sold you to be killed. And you know already they show you that you'll die. Me as Ruth, while we're here, I said, hey, my friend, Louisa, why you want now you go and sell me? But he never did it. Humility. He doesn't want noise. No rage. No noise. That is a lesson that we learn. He's teach, trying to teach us. In times of trouble, in times of facing persecution, During the time of persecution, during the time of betrayal, most importantly, don't approach the people and ask them that you betrayed me. Now it comes back to what Sena Prophet Joshua used to teach us about. I pardon you, I know maybe other people might not like him, Sena Prophet. The thing is that if you go back to what I told you, how, where I come from, I didn't know him. I don't know him. I never knew his face. That's why I say, if you go back to the previous videos where I say how he helped me, but he was teaching me and training me how the things of the kingdom works. Not the kingdom of darkness, of Jesus Christ in heaven. So that's why I like to quote him because his teaching, even though he's, he has transited, I always listen to it. Because in every teaching, there's something that I will learn. He is the one who made me to learn to forget people. So children of God, that come back to him when he said, when someone shouted to you, when people accuse you, you must learn to keep quiet even if it's very hard and painful. So now I understand only today in the morning when I ask God the book of life where to read and teach you about. So when you go to the last supper, he just says, someone here has betrayed me. Then each and every one started to ask, is that me or me? He didn't say, I know that you just, what did you do? You took silver coins and do what? But no. During time of persecution and be accused of you being a witch, a witch in your family, being accused of being a seller in your family, being accused of being loved, not no, 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 loved by your mother or your father, not like other kids. You have to keep quiet. We then how, because sometimes I try, like these days, I try more and more that God, even if I feel that pinch to the things that I didn't do, strengthen me. You did it to others, do it to me. I just want to be strong. So we have to do that. 
So in other words, in that time of persecution and ac accusing you of all the ill things that you didn't do, try to meditate in the heart. Call your Jesus to help. Jesus, help me. I'm facing persecution. Jesus, read his calmness. I'm facing, they are swearing at me. My neighbor is shouting at me. They are swearing at me. They say, my child did this to the other child. Let me be calm. Come, do something. That's what he wants us to do. The song says, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Why we follow him? We just want to be like him. Why we follow him? Because we believe him. Why we follow him? Our faith believes in him and our trust. So that's what we have to do, children of God. When they persecute you, when they accuse you, then they took him straight. It's still verse 14. Before the son Henry. It's where they ask him, are you really the child son of God? Are you really the coming uh, Messiah? When they ask him, are you really the son of, uh, of God? That's where he says I am. But if you check most of the time, he asked when they were ask, asking him, are you, are you the child? Are you? Other times when they ask him that question, are you the coming man? Are you really a, uh, the king? Then he look at them. Look at what he did to Pilates. Because after the appearance before the son Henry, it's when he was taken to Pilates. He never answered. Until Pilate says, hey, hey, law is in my hand. If you don't answer, if you answer, I can make them not to call you. Number two, he didn't want to answer because what is written in the script has to be fulfilled. He knew that he has to die. He prayed for his father. An angel came to comfort him. He knew that when his father doesn't answer, he's facing death. He knew that it's the prophecy of all the prophets that was said before and after when he was born. He has to be fulfilled. In the house of David, someone has to go there and open the seven seals. When there was none to open, he shattered me. That was him. He shattered me. He knew that he I am the Lamb. The lamb that was said to be crucified. The lamb that has to spill the blood. So that my people that were called by my name have to be, to be baptized and be purified from those sins. So in, her, in, book, in the book of Mark 14, it's all about the lesson. He wants us to be like him. Holy Spirit need what? To stop murmuring, rage, noise, jealousy, gossip, everything. So children of God, it has a big lesson there. Even continuously upon Pilate, hey, 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 kill him. He didn't never say that. I will prove it to you. I didn't, I didn't kill anyone. I am the Messiah. Okay, why don't you ask ourselves, children of God, that when they were busy because the crowd before Pilate was too low, and people who are the Jews who wanted to kill him, the same people, because Jesus was a Jew. But what did they say? When they say crucify him, why didn't they say, okay, Bring me uh, three or four people now that are blind. I want to open their eyes so that you can know that I am the Messiah. Why don't we ask that? He has already, he has already accepted that. Here I am. Let your will be done. Because he prayed in Gethsemane. The tears were like blood. He was sweating. Three or two times that he found what Peter sleeping. He keep on going to that. You are sleeping. The hour has come. But they didn't know because he, 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 it was all in parable. Imagine children of God, the heaviness there. Hmm? You know that you are going to die. But you can't tell even the people that you love that tomorrow I'm dying. 
But you know inside, that is why death, even today, is a secret. 40 days of preparation, if not mistaken. Most of the people, not most of the people, not me, I'm wrong. People who are dying, they know that they're dying. Because they're prepared. That is according to the book of law. They prepare you prior going. That's why you see most of the people before they go, they will tell you that, why you say next day, maybe I won't be around. The person's lying, he's telling you directly that I will be gone. You know, because the angel of preparation is always next to you to teach you to transit, how to go there. But when you started to say, mm, I think I will die, and then he says, don't talk. It is a secret. And then angel raise you, the angel of death, come and take you. And after I take you, Reza go to our master in the throne and blink an eye. When he blink a guy a eye to Master Jesus, then our father know that a soul has came. The soul is around. The things of the spirit are deep in it. I'm teaching you parables. Reza is the angel of death. When I'm cross, and then I saw that I'm fighting stubborn demons, I say, my father, release angel Razel to come and take their soul. Their soul, their soul must go to the darkness and go and be tormented in the furnace and let them be seen alive while the soul is burning in the furnace. We grow up in the spirit, we teach each one another, I also learn. So children of God, so that's what I wanted to tell you now, because when he gave me the weight, it was a voice of our, from our Father. as the Holy Spirit telling me that. Read in the book of... There I think that Father God wants to sharpen our behavior. Because also when I check there, I don't, I don't think that I, will, I could be able, like the way Peter did, like to pray, children of God, I pray, I pray. And then, like it's midnight, like pray without ceasing. We are human, we are just human of the flesh. We don't know how to pray like season. Pray non-stop and pray and pray and pray. That is why I said some other things of God, most of the things of God, it's not the happen phrase, sorry. Now I'm speaking South African language. It's not an easy task. Because why children of God? I mean that... Um, you pray because on the 12 hours, it was at night when I, I remember. It was at night you pray. That's why when they arrest him, it was dark. They have to come with the lights and the flames of lights. You pray, you sleep, and you doze. Especially when you are in a, a tired group. Remember in a tired uh, journey. Remember when from uh, the last supper, they were walking. They have to walk. Jesus and his disciples were walking most of the time. Sometimes they would take a boat. And to go to the nearby and preach and sit in the beautiful gates, mountains, Mount of Olives, wherever. But most of the time they were walking. And if you check, it was distance. So then from the distance and then you go to Gethsemane. Your master knows that he's, he's leaving you. He's worried. And when I check, I read this book of life. Children of God. Father God, when you go to heaven... The worry was not about him. Because he's right. He has everything. His father can make him everything what he wants. But it's what it was. the worry was for us. The trials and tribulations, the challenges that me and you were facing today. To be accused of the things that we didn't do. To be persecuted. To struggle, no food, no work. We are seven, we are eight in the house, one is working. It's all about those challenges. Because why he worries? Challenges make you to make us to lose, not you only me, to lose the focus to concentrate on God's things. That's why he was worried. That's why when he reached his father in heaven, he asked him, he told him that, Father, I'm here, I can see. But my people in the world, that world is not right. Instead of, because our Father created us as God, He knows. Let's give them a Holy Spirit. It will be a, a spiritual being. That's why Holy Spirit in our heart want to be talked to like a, a person. It's a spiritual being. 
It's like a human being in your heart. You have to talk to him. Holy Spirit, I adore you. I love you, Holy Spirit. Continue to protect me. I know you are protecting me. But teach me your ways, Holy Spirit. Speak inside me. Clean my heart, Holy Spirit. And then he came. That is your guardian angel. That is your protector. He is the one who is teaching you. He is the one guiding you. When your body is faced or attached with spirit, Holy Spirit knows when to remove it. He knows when it entered. We are fighting battles, children of God. So to answer God, God, you can pray him and answer today. Then you say, hey, God, hey, Father God, I, I pray him for only today, and then he answered me. But why the other things you don't answer? Those things that he doesn't answer take time. That he, the one that he answered today, or after two days, or next week when you pray, is the one that he wanted to give it to you. He's teaching us perseverance every day. That's why he persevered. When they were busy calling him names and all this stuff. He never said, oh, bring two people, I've been healing people. He answered them only that, I was with them, with you, when you were praying in the temple every day. But why are you persecuting me? And they couldn't answer. They just say, I crucify, let's crucify him. It is because of the script. It has to be fulfilled. There are challenges that need to be fulfilled in our lives. The challenges that me and you ask, why us? Where is God? God is there. It has to be fulfilled. So that you can get testimony upon it. You will not die. The book of Psalm 118 said it all. And beside that, a lot of things. God knows that you will not die. Challenges are meant to strengthen us, children of God. A man to, to grow up spiritual to say, You darkness, get out. I know where you are. You attach them on fire all over. I know where you are. He wants it. That's why when you persevere, later on your level when it changed, because it starts like that levels, 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 levels. Once it goes there, when it comes now, it re God really changes the level and releases descending spirits. It will be attached with descending spirit with deliverance and healing. It will attach you with authority. When, when you say, you demon, get out. I know where you are. Because while you pray for someone, you can see where there's a demon. Why? Descending spirit and the Holy Spirit is telling you, like that person has a problem. It's like prophesying. When you look at a, a person, you pray for it and you pass. Then the say, uh, Holy Spirit says, go back. Then you'll see, Sina Prophet Yeshua, Mama also do it. While she's delivering, she'll go back or go quickly back and go to the person. Because Holy Spirit is telling you that that person that you pass, go back and pray for her again or him. Or prophesy on him as a problem. That is why it's in a prophetic Jesus says, when he prophesied, most of the time, he will see the, the problem written here. Those are senior prophets that can see a scripture written that diabetic, heart attack, stroke, witchcraft, mm. those are senior ones. The level that is top. We are uh, below those. It's how God categorizes us in a category that he wants us to be. So, children of God, it's what I wanted to tell you. Let me make not make things very long. It's what I wanted to tell you about the scripture of Mark 14. God wanted us that in every persecution, Every time you have been accused, keep quiet. Answer where you will be told so to answer. Why 
God, you pray to him and meditate that, Father, in time of persecution, in time of noise, I accuse, they accuse me of something that I didn't do. Teach me to answer. While they're busy answering other people in our culture, they stand on the gates and start to shout that Sakele did one, two, three, four. That's how they do. I'm making an example. Then when you go out and then you'll also say, hey, who are you speaking with? Look at me. I'm not like you. You just go there and say, sorry, I didn't know. I was lacking that until my sister one day told me. She told, she told me, and I won't go into detail, but she just said, because she's accusing you that you talk badly about your child. And I know the story that it's wrong, it's not like that. I phoned her to say what we have had. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry on my sister's behalf because she didn't tell me she told my sister. So in that time of persecution and being accused of something that you didn't do, just say, I'm sorry. If you want to cut the matter short. But if not, keep quiet. For the God is teaching us about persecution and accusation. What to do during persecution and being accused. So if you read it slowly, yeah, you'll see. And it can go even as far as to verse 15. Where Pilates was busy, Pilato, Pilates was pressing Jesus to answer, who is he? What's going on with them? Just keep quiet. And you look at them. Because he knew that even if he can say Bring three people who are crippled or who don't see. And then he says, Father, let your will be done. And they stood up. They will never believe him. People of heart, heart. People who are lack of faith. So children of God, let's read it. And the prayer here is to tell God and teach him to change our heart. To remove rage in our heart. To release more calmness. In time of persecution and being accused of the things who have been, where I accused children of God at work, neighbors, wherever. To say, I'm sorry. That's why it's in a prophetic video. It says, the minute you say sorry, you don't know what God is preparing for that people. What happened after? The tone of the temple. Destroying. Darkness. It's then they say, oh, oh, how shame. Oh, he was a child of God. Oh, oh Jesus. Now calling his name. Others, even the soldiers, after they pierce him. Oh, oh, the blood. Oh, he knew that even if he dropped on the forehead, oh, hey, this blood. Hey, something's changing. Oh, he kneeled down. So we mustn't do things late. Let's be proactive. Proactive. Proactive on the things of God, children of God. It will push me. And when you do that, that you don't want to answer during persecution, you will hear what, how Satan will be busy preparing you to say, No, you cannot. She swore at you. You will, you will tell me, children of God. You will tell me one day that, Hey, Sister Ruth, I, I came across that thing. Because now you are resisting. Satan and his tactics. He will press you. That is why when he, he doesn't want, he wants always noise and all the rage. He's so useless. He's a spirit, that thing. Satan is nothing. He will never kill you. Never. As long as your God is there and as long as Holy Spirit inside you, he's just trying to provoke you. If I was not prayerful today, I suppose not to preach for you, to preach. I suppose to maybe. Send a short prayer and say, let's pray. And then you ask yourself why. And then I say, amen, we'll see you on Tuesday next week. Even while I'm sitting. <laughs> Children of God, there's something that you must learn. That when we pray for you, when we teach the word of God, any pastor or whoever, that's why you have to be in always praying. So when I work, always doing something, earphones, 
I'm busy praying and worshiping, cooking, cleaning, but it's here. Because any time, as I said, I'll preach and pray for the children, and he knows who I am. Every now and again, after delivering you, I must face darkness, demons, to say, why you deliver them? Why you ban us at the kingdom? So they think that they know, and once they know your timetable, that you are praying on this and this, and they send serpents, witches, or who's this? Jezebel, mother of uh, witches. He will come from the waters to come and try to block you. They will send all kinds of things. But in that pain, I enjoy and say, you will never do me nothing. I know the power I belong. Let's close our eyes and pray. Children of God, lift up your hand. And just open your heart. Open your heart. My Father, my Lord, here are we. Ah. Yeah, we are with your children, Lord. We are looking up on, upon you, Lord, knowing that you are God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We evoke your power, Lord. The power, Lord, that parted the sea. Through the staff of Moses that you give it to him. To part the Red Sea, Lord Jesus. We part the Red Sea of the blockages. In our heart, your children's heart, we say, be parted. Be parted, you blockages. Be parted, you Red Sea of blockages. Be parted. Be total destroyed in our heart. You cause us to have rage. You cause us, the children of God, us, to have noise. You cause us not to have calmness. Let the light of God disconnect it. Holy Father, I call you from your throne. We are in your throne. Open up heaven, Lord. We can see your throne, Lord. You are sitting on your right hand of your Father. Your power, your thunder. Let him manifest in our heart. And the children of God's heart to destroy the spirit of darkness. The spirit of blockages. The spirit, Lord, that is resisting. For them, Lord, to receive your power, your glory, and the anointing. Let there be light and the light of God to disconnect satanic place. The light of God to disconnect all the blockages. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Who we are without you, Holy Father. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are deliverance land, Lord, to release the thunder, the missile, the hailstone, to destroy the attached spirit. Darkness, get out, out, in Jesus' mighty name. All of us fire you darkness. All of us fire you demons. All of us fire you stubborn, wicked, evil spirit. Fire. Fire all over your body flus. Catch the fire out of the ghost. All of us power I resurrect. resurrect. All of us power of heaven resurrect. Release your power, Lord. Release your power, Lord. Your children, here are they. Father, they face a lot of difficulties in life. All of us power from heaven, fill them. All of us fire, power in the heart, all of us fire. All of us power in the heart, all of us fire. All of us fire all over the body flu system. And the heart, I disconnect the linkage. Manipulation of serpents. You wicked marine spirit. Witchcraft, water spirit. Marine spirit, get out. Fire. Blockages of darkness, serpents, demons, Satan. All of us fire all over your crown. Whether you are familiar spirit, whether you are blocking of serpents, blockage caused by demons, invisible demons, your wicked, evil, stinking demons. Cast a fire in your crown, fire in your eyes. All of us fire and break your yokes. All of us fire and break your grip. Lose your grip. Get out. Lose your grip. Get out. Leave the children of God. Wherever you have been hiding. Fire all over wherever you are hiding in the boat. Get out. Come out. I say come out. Out in Jesus mighty name. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The light of God to shine. Release your fire Lord. Holy Ghost fire disconnect Lord. Get out you darkness. Fire I disconnect my father my Lord. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Ghost, fire, get out, out, you spirit. Operating in the ears. Operating in the ears, making noise, you Satan. 
whispering serpents, whispering demons in their ears. Holy Ghost, fire is a be open the eyes of children of God. Be open the light of God, the thunder in your ears. Get out, you blockages in their ears. The mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get the fire of the Holy Ghost, get out. Out in their ears. Operating in their ears, blocking them. You spirit of darkness. Operating in their mouth. You block them in their mouth, in their tongue. You are a demon. You are darkness. You are wicked. You are evil. All of us, fire in your crown. Get out in their mouth, in their tongues. I break your creep in their tongues. Get out in their mouth, their lips. The blood of Jesus in their tongue. Receive the blood to purify you. Receive the blood and the fire to burn the sin. Sin of the mouth caused by Satan. I break your yokes in that tongue. Get out, you Satan. You spirit of killing. Stealing and destroying. Using mouth, your wicked mouth, to curse the children of God. I break your yokes in the mouth, in the lips. Come out from their mouth, you darkness. I uproot you. Get out, you Satan. What goes fire? Out in the mouth. What goes fire? Come out, out in the mighty name of Jesus. What goes fire? Fire! I burn and disconnect your grip. Get out! The mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The light of God in their mouth, Lord. Perfect their mouth. While you perfect their ears, let there be light in the mouth and their ears. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Get out. Spirits operating in their hands. You cuff their hands with evil chains so that they mustn't get their breakthrough. So that the work of their hands must become nothing. You are a demon, you are Satan. Out! Come out. What goes fire? Out! Out! You darkness. Fire all over your hands. I break your hands. I break your wicked evil hands that you connected with the children of God. Fire! I disconnect your evil. Invisible chains that you put on the hands not to receive. What goes fire? Fire! Fire! Fire all over the hands, the bones, the fluid, the system. Fire in the hands, evil, invisible chains. Fire, I break you. Lose your grip. Get out. Lose your grip. Leave the children of God. I make them free. Take freedom in your hands. Your hands need to be blessed. Take freedom in your hands. Take the freedom of God. Receive freedom. I break the chains of Satan. Uprooted. Get out. You shall never cage them. You shall never change them. Their, heart, their hands. You have been exposed, you Satan. Fire! Fire! Wherever you put it. I break your grip, lose your grip. Fire in the hands. Whatever they touch need to be blessed. Oh, because fire, I break it loose. Lose your grip in the hands. I break your yokes. I burn it wherever you are invisible. Get out, you Satan. Out, you darkness. Fire! Oh, because fire, I break you. Get out. Lose your grip. I soak your hands with the blood of Jesus. Children of God. I soak your hands. Receive. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the blood of Jesus to soak your hands, to soak whatever you are doing. The blood of Jesus to revive your hands. Wherever your hands touch, let there be light. Wherever your hands touch, let there be prosperity. Wherever your hand touch, let there be favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take favor. Receive favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be favored. In the eyes of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every chains operating in their legs, their toes, between the legs, their thighs, their waist, their hips. All of us fire you chains of darkness. Get out. Out of you chains of darkness. I break your chains. Be broken, you chains of darkness. Operating in the bones, the knees, the legs, the toes. Operating in the fluid, the veins. Of the legs, the veins of the hips, the hips, the waist, operating on the knees, the thighs. You chains of darkness, chains of monitoring, chain of darkness, chains of Satan. I break your yokes, be broken by the authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Be broken, you wicked evil chains. By the authority in the mighty name of Jesus. I totally break you, get out, out, or it goes fire, melt, and get out. 
Holy Ghost, fire, get out in the waist. Get out on the hip. Fire in my hip. My hip, our hips. Holy Ghost, fire on the legs, the thighs. Holy Ghost, fire on the knees. All over, under the feet. You chase. You are chaining them. Not to get prosperity. You chain them and make slaves. Be released, child of God. Take deliverance. Be delivered. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be released. Take freedom. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be released, child of God. I break those chains. Be broken. Get out. Out. Get out. Out. You chains of darkness. You chains of Satan. You chains of demons. Leave it here. You water spirit. Your ever wicked cobras. Fire in your eyes. Fire. All of us, fire I burn your eyes. Fire. All of us, fire in your crown. Get out, you serpents. Chains of darkness. You are wicked. Fire in the bones, in the flute. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire in your stomach. Fire in your tail. In your claws, your nails. Fire burn. You shall never come and drain the children of God, the blood. Fire when all, when all, all, all over, wherever you're hiding. All of us, fire on the knees, the bones, the cells of the bones. Yes, the marrow of the bones, the tendons, the legs, the tooth. All of us, fire, get out, fire. Fire in your tooth. Fire, you Satan. Get out, you demons. Fire in your nails, you witches. Fire and be melted. I break your yokes. Get out. Take all your chains. That you chain them from the hips, from the waist down. I cut you. I disconnect you. Fire on the spinal cord, wherever you're hiding. Fire at the back where you always play. Get out, you Satan. You demons. Fire. What goes fire in your crown? Your eyes fire in your tail. Your tail fire in your crown. Your crown fire in your chest. Your heart, your heart fire. Get out. Your heart fire in your heart. Break you. Get out, you Satan. The shoulders. Get out. Fire on the shoulders. Fire, fire on the shoulders. Get out. Be uprooted. Fire. You don't have a way. You shall never hide. Be as small as and die. Be as small as and destroy. Get out. Leave the children of God. What goes fire. Whatever you're hiding, all goes fire all over the body flu system. Fire your teeth. I melt it with the fire. Fire, my Jesus Christ, release the fish hook. Hook the nose of Levitian. You Levitian. Fire on your crown, your teeth. Fire on your tail. I break you. I cut you. You are evil. Hard and scale. Hard and scalp. I said, the sword of my father. Expose. Come down, descend the sword of fire. Cut the head of Levitian. Cut him, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Release my father your sword. Destroy any serpent that is tormenting the children of God. Any witchcraft serpent. Any sangoma witchcraft snake. Any witchcraft serpent. Any witchcraft python. Witchcraft Levitian. Break the yokes, Lord. Jesus. Let your axe of fire cut it. Let it penetrate the heart and scatter and destroy. The heart of Levitian. Ah, Father, destroy him. The mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Ghost, fire all over. Fire in your tail. Fire in your tools. Fire in your crown, you python. You cobras, you mamas. Fire, you water spirits. You water snake. Get out and go. You are in the wrong bodies. Get out. You are in the wrong body. You have been exposed. Burn and die. Fire. The call of fire in your head. The hailstone of fire in your head. The call of fire in your crown. The call of fire in your eyes. Become blind. I disconnect your chain. I destroy the chain. That you chain them between the legs. I destroy by the power of the ghost. Receive freedom. Take freedom, children of God. Receive freedom. Freedom from our Father in heaven. Take the freedom of God. Let there be light in your body. Let the light of God search the darkness and destroy it. Let the light of God search and burn the darkness of Satan. Be totally destroyed, you darkness. Let you melt and burn. You shall become irreparable. You shall stop to torment the children of God. You have been exposed. We know how you operate. Pack the Lord and go. Holy Ghost, fire. Get out, you Satan. The light of God to search and destroy you and burn you. I silence you. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break all your chains. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, have mercy in your children. If any one of your children is under the cage, Lord, the cage is a cell, my Father, my Lord, here I are we, here we are. Here we are, Lord Jesus. Let your deliverance and your power and authority be released to our children. 
Be released to our children. Children of God, stand up and kick it. Kick that wicked cage. You chair, you wicked cage. Be broken. Get out to release the children of God. Get out. Be broken. Or it goes fire in your cage. Or it goes fire, children of God. Kick that cage. Destroy the cage of Satan. He cage you and your children. Kick it. Destroy. Damage the cage of Satan. Be totally damaged, you cage of Satan. You cage them, you chain them. You make them your, your all your slaves. Or it goes fire, the call of fire on top of the cages. The rock of call of fire, fire on top of the cages. The rock of call of fire from hell, fire on top of the cages. As a be broken band, release the children of God. I release them. You cage them. You make them suffer. You confiscated all their documents, all their finances. You make them suffer. You block them. You release all the diseases, every kind of disease to torment the children of God. Therefore, catch the fire. What it was fire. Fire, the call of fire. The biggest call of fire be released from heaven. Burn the cages. Kick those cages. Destroy, release your families. Release your children. Take all the freedom. Freedom. Freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The light of God to destroy it. The power of the Holy Ghost. The resurrection power. Destroy the cages. Be broken, you cages. Be totally destroyed, you cages of Satan. Burn down, leave the children of God. Holy Ghost, fire the thunder of the Holy Ghost. Missiles from heaven. Scatter, destroy the cages. Whether they are big or not. Whether the kingdom of darkness. Wherever they have caged, the children of God, their spirits are in, in the south, they are caged. They are caged when they are going, they are like dead. They sometimes they don't feel their bodies, their flu system. Because of Satan, he's tormenting them every time when they sleep. Be broken, you yoke. Receive the freedom. I break the chain. Be broken the light of God. What it was fire. Fire on the chain. What it was fire in that all the prison cages. The prison cages that he cage. Fire be melted. I melt you by the puzzle goes. You change the children of God to steal from them. You spirit of stealing, killing and destroying. What it was fire? I burn you. Thunder the ghost resurrect. What it was fire? Resurrect. Fire out the ghost, cut and destroy. Get out, you chains. Be melted. Mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have been broken. Take your deliverance, children of God. Receive deliverance. Receive the favor of God. Receive the power and authority from heaven. Take it, children of God. Be revived in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be restored in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Be fortified by the power of the ghost. Be resurrected. Resurrect like Lazarus. Resurrect by the power of the Holy Ghost. Irrevision. I break the torment of Satan. The plan to kill, steal, and destroy. Be tormented. Be totally destroyed. Be uprooted and burned by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thunder of heaven. My Father, release your thunder. Disconnect and help your children. Let them be light, whatever they do. Let them be light, Father. Barricade them with the fire and the light. Your glory, Lord Jesus, to overcome Satan and his agent. The plan of witches and wizards to come and torment tonight. What is cause fire be broken? Get out, you Satan, you witches. What is cause fire be totally destroyed? Get out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father. Soak your children and hide them under the shadow of your wings. Let the light of God touch them. The fire of the ghost fill them. The light of God to fill them. The yokes, every yoke to be broken. Let there be light wherever they go. Every shadow that follow them burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Be totally destroyed. Every monitoring spirit following them. Be totally destroyed. Get out in their marriages. Get out in their lives. Calmness in their heart. Receive calmness. Calmness in their families. Let there be calmness. Heart and heart, get out and receive the heart of God. Get out your heart of darkness. Be uprooted. My Father, thank you, Jesus. Father, restore their eyesight. Be restored your eyesight. Be restored your eyesight. Let there be light in your eyes to dream dreams, visions of visions. I break the spirit of blocking their dreams. I break the spirit of blocking their dreams. 
There is a spirit that is blocking them not to sleep. That they cannot dream. I pray you get out in their brains. You operate in their brain. Holy Ghost, fire, get out in their brains. You spirit blocking them not to sleep so that they must see dreams. Holy Ghost, fire, get out in their brains. Holy Ghost, fire, get out in their brains. Holy Ghost, fire, I disconnect them in your brains. The light of God in their brains. Holy Ghost, fire, the light of God in their brains. Let there be light wherever they go. Let there be light in their brains. Release, Father, the spirit of resting. You created rest. But other children of God are tormented and be blocked not to sleep. Holy Ghost, fire, I break that yoke. Get out of witchcraft yoke. I break your yoke to prevent the children of God not to sleep. Holy Ghost, fire, they need to dream dreams. Take restoration in your eyes. Be restored in your eyes. Be restored, restored in your eyesight. Be restored in your eyesight. Let there be light in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You did it, Lord. You are God and God alone. Fill them with the blood. I soak them with the blood. Children of God, take the blood of Jesus and fill your body. Fill your body from head to toe. Soak your children, soak your families. The blood of Jesus Christ. We evolve the power of the blood. Let it flow, the blood in the houses. In the body flu system, their families, their children. The blood of Jesus in our rooms. The blood of Jesus under their feet, in the waist, the spinal cord. The blood of Jesus Christ, we resist Satan by the power in the blood. The book of Revelation 12, 11. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We shall overcome Satan by the blood. Let the blood flow in the houses. Wherever there's darkness and traps of demons. The blood of Jesus Christ. Expose and destroy. I soak the children of God. Their cars, their offices. Their houses, wherever they touch. Their hands, the blood. Their feet, the blood. Their spinal cord, their waist. And the pulse, the fluid, the system. The blood, I resurrect dead organs with the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. They take the blood as the children of God are busy. The Lord soaking them with the blood. May your power manifest of the blood. The blood of Jesus in their eyes. The blood of Jesus wherever they touch. They will be blessed going out and when they come back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Protect them. Wherever they go out, be blessed when they come in. Continue to make their right hand as a shade. No enemies, no arrow fashion against them that shall prosper. It can come and cause them pains. But it shall never prosper. No poison shall stay in their body. No affinities inflict infections. No viruses, no disease. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shalom. God bless you.